Yeah, interesting is that not everybody do A, not everybody do B. Your neighbors are going to want to do the other one. So. All right, Mike, whenever you're ready. Right. I know everyone has gotten into small arguments before. It may have ended in a loss of friendship, but imagine losing someone's life over some small argument. Crime rates are already high as it is almost anywhere you go in America, let alone America is the highest crime rate country in the whole world. Why let our nation carry around rapid weapons? That would just lead to even more crime and decrease our society. <coughs> After researching my topic, I came across a lot of debates whether or not it's okay to have concealed carry, and I personally believe that it's a terrible idea for our, for our country to have. This is a decent society that it's okay to use weapons and also crime rates will rise. I know some I some I know some may disagree with me, but think about the last argument you had with someone that ended their country. It could have been more than that, it could have been their life. However, I do believe in something that is called a shell issue permit, which I'll get into more de detail later on. First, I want to talk about why concealed carry should be banned. <coughs> According to a research study by the Violent Policy Center, it noted that in 2013, 516 people were killed and 24 mass shootings because of concealed carry. A timeline of mass shootings from the Huffington Post shows that there have been eight mass shootings in 2012 alone due to concealed carry. The most recent mass shooting, y'all should remember, took place on December 14, 2012, when Adam Lanza opened fire in San Jose Elementary School to 27 people, including his, including his mother. Americans don't want to wake up every morning knowing that their child that their child could be unsafe when he's supposed to be in the most safe place possible, a daycare center or a school. Most of mass shootings have been taking place in the past few years have, have been bought in stores where anyone can access them, for instance like Walmart or Target. Um, the nation.com noted that Walmart carries an AR-15, which happens to be a very popular gun used by mass murderers. In 1999, the, shooter, the shooters of the Columbine shootings brought their ammunition from a bought their ammunition from a local Walmart that later was used to kill both classmates and one teacher. If any permit, if any permit that is issued for concealed carry, it should be a shell issue permit. According to Front site campaign to secure shale issue license for concealed carry points out that if someone wishes to have a concealed carry permit, they should have to pay an application fee, go through two days of training, and have, they have to register with a clean, uh, clean criminal record. Although I disagree with concealed carry and having a, a permit, the only possible way for someone to be issued a permit uh, is a shale issue permit. Now that I've showed you how easy it is for anyone to obtain a handgun, let's see how the field carry can raise the rate of crime. And this right here just shows you, like, oh, This shows you like uh, what each state has about concealed carry, and Illinois, Wisconsin don't have any permits, so they, you, you can't even have a shell issue permit in either of those states. And um, as you can see, most of the U.S. has a shell issue, which is the safest way to go about getting a, a permit for concealed carry. Giving American citizens the right to carry a handgun on, handgun on them will raise the rate of crime exponentially. One of the top stories in Champaign a couple weeks ago was that concealed carry classes have begun. According to the NBC News in Champaign, Illinois, the community has started shell issue concealed carry, concealed carry classes. These classes require 16 hours of in-class training and shooting range training before anyone can receive a permit to carry a handgun. And it also goes to note that you can only register if you have a criminal background. The classes vary good, Marlita Law said. It's a very interesting and it's not just gun handling. It's also insurance things, financial things, and how to protect yourself from Since 1991, when violent crime peaked in the U.S., 24 states had adopted shell issue laws, replacing laws that prohibited carrying or that issued carry permits on every restricted basis. 
This is a good, good way to, to control a process of assistance if you carry a concealed weapon. Although I do believe the overall idea of concealed carry is bad, I do believe there is one way that, that this can be safe, and that is to carry a concern. The Columbus Dispatch reported in the article called Concealed Carry Do Not Reduce Crime stated that only concealed carry laws that is in effect when trying to reduce crime is the shallow In a 2003 study published by the Stanford Law Review, Ian Ayers and John J. Donahue concluded that a proliferation of laws that permit concealed carry license based on specific criteria to reduce crime rather than a general concealed carry permit. This goes to show that the majority of concealed carriers do not have shallow permits, and because of that, crime rates are either increasing or staying at the same rate. This is a very important issue that Americans need to realize for their own safety, because one small fight can turn into a loss of a life, or even a mass, or even a mass shooting. John Lott and David Mustard published a study called Crime the Serious and the Right to Carry Concealed Handguns in the University of Chicago Journal of Legal Studies, shows that two states in the United States have no concealed carry laws, and 36 states have shallow issue permits, and those two states were um, Illinois and Wisconsin. Lot and Munster's results show that when shell issue laws were passed, violent crimes such as murder, rape, and aggravated assault in that state decreased by some 4% to 7%. These statistics still represent that concealed carry without a shell issue permit has no effect on crime rates, decreasing rather than increasing, and as for shell issue, permits rise are decreasingly slower but still impacting the safety in that particular state. Although a shell issue permit might be the safe way to go about carrying a gun, it still isn't doing much to help with the safety and security of the The steel carry has had little to no effect when trying to reduce crime rates in safe where it is legal, but it also teaches our society that it is okay to take things in a violent manner. Allowing to steel carry in the United States teaches not only adults, but also future generations that it is okay to use weapons. An article following the aftermath of the same such shooting says a few states, including Utah, have laws that allow teachers to carry concealed weapons in their classrooms. Personally, I think this is absolutely idiotic to be safe to be teaching their students how to carry guns. The reason for the school is to give them education and keep students from doing terrible things, from shoot, such as shooting or going and getting a concealed carry permit. Mass shootings like this will continue to happen and always will happen. It is part of it strange world we all live in. Trying to stop something that will never end by giving even more Americans the access to the weapons is teaching them the wrong idea. Now the question that has come to come into play is whether or not teachers should be, al- should be allowed to have access to these weapons in their classroom. <laughs> a debate on the issue that teachers should not al- be allowed to access a gun in their classroom states that it, it is not a good idea because there should be enough security to assess those situations if there was to happen. Back when I went to high school, uh, I went to a very populated high school. There were plenty of kids there, and you had to walk through uh, metal detectors. You had to talk to. Um, uh, we had a bunch of uh, hall monitors and stuff. So those those people should be the ones to stop uh, mass mass shooters from going into the school. The only way to achieve progress in, in death rates is caused by the psychological way. Teaching students about the consequences and the mental aspects of hurting people is the only way these ways can be treated. The last thing I want to point out is that getting firearms to students or teachers to try and threaten most of the mass murders does not work because most of them are suicidal. A timeline on mass shooting noted that there were nine mass shootings in 2012 and all of them took their own life. This goes to show that educating students and teachers on how to use a gun is a bad idea because most of the time the shooters know going into the mass shooting that they probably aren't going to come out alive. On February 27, 2012, a 17-year-old student named TJ Lane confessed to opening fire on some of his classmates. Although Lane did not take his own life, he did later say that he obtained the gun from his relatives who had it legally. Overall, the issue is extremely important when trying to manage mass shootings that occur frequently by allowing concealed carry. The reasons are simple for why concealed carry should be banned across the nation, and that includes that it raises the rate of crime, allows easier access to weapons, and it teaches our nation that it is okay to use these type of weapons. Concealed carry in the United States is a very debatable issue whether or not it should be allowed in the state. The only hope Americans can have when trying to decrease the rate of crime is to teach students the consequences instead of providing 
the reality of such handguns. You don't want a small argument resulting in one of your close friend's life. Good morning, thank you. Question for Mike, welcome to a carry.